Hey everyone, it's Guinea Pig Forever 17, and today I'm going to be doing a video on how to cut guinea pig nails. I'm going to tell you how to cut them, where the quick is, and the difference between adults and guinea pig nails. First off, I'm going to talk about the nail clippers. I use the special um, guinea pig or small animal nail clippers. You could probably use these human ones too, but I prefer the other ones because they just form the nails a little better for them. So it makes them a little more comfortable when they're not um, getting them cut, so when they grow in. Um, so I'm going to first do it on Cookie, but I'd like to mention, um, this is what her nails look like. She's an adult guinea pig, um, so that's what her nails look like. Um, so I will show you what a baby guinea pig's nails look like too, so that you don't have to cut them, what size they have to be. But yeah, um, now I want to talk a little bit about the quick. The quick is the pink part of the nail that, um, it's like pointish, like it comes in closer to where the, the like the paws start. But you don't want to cut the quick because then it's really painful and it makes it um, start bleeding. So here's a quick picture of the quick. Yeah, so that's the quick. Um, if you cut the quick by any chance, which you should really be careful about doing, um, you can put flour. This is what I have. Just um, A lot of households probably have it. Just baking flour. You can also use uh, baking powder, but I prefer flour. It works a little better. And there's also something called styptic powder that you can put on that's specially for um, when you cut uh, an animal's nails and you hit the quick. So you can also get that, I think, from a pet store. I haven't gotten it in a while. I have to go pick up some more. But yeah, um, in case you don't know what that looks like, this is what it looks like. So yeah, um, now we're going to start cutting Cookie's nails. Um, again, I'm going to be using these nail clippers. So you're going to want to hold your guinea pig, if they allow you, just to hold them upright like this. M Cookie's not very good with that, but sometimes she'll let me do it. Hello, it's me. You're just going to want to tr trim the tips of the nails. Um, you don't want to go too deep, like I said, to hit the quick. See, I'm not going to do all her nails because it's going to take me a long time. If your guinea pig isn't this calm, you're just going to want to get some maybe some veggies to calm them down. Something that will just calm them down for a little bit so you can get it done. Sometimes I've had to do that with Cookie. Yeah, so that's, um, I'll show you what an adult guinea pig's nails look like once again. They look like this. They're not as straight and formed as baby guinea pig nails, which I'm about to show you. So in a second, um, I'm just going to grab muffin here. Hey guys, so now I have Muffin here. Um, I'm going to try and show you, probably really hard to see on camera, but um, I'm going to show you what a baby guinea pig's nails look like. She's still a baby, so yeah, I'll show you. If you can notice, her back, or her all her nails, I guess, they're more pointy at the end, and they're not as curved, and they're shorter. And then her front, she has one paw that's black, so it's really hard to see the nails. So yeah, that's what a baby guinea pig's nails look like. You do not have to cut them because they will really hurt the guinea pig and hurt them when they get older and their nails grow more and bigger like an adult guinea pig. So you don't want to cut uh, baby guinea pig's nails again, like I said. Um, so yeah. Oh, and I wanted to mention something. If you're not 100% confident in yourself for cutting guinea pig nails, especially if they have black nails, I suggest maybe taking it to a vet to get them cut. I'm pretty good, but I mean, I know it can probably cost to take it to the vet to get their nails cut, but if you think that you would probably not do a very good job, then I suggest maybe calling them and seeing if they can do that for you. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, I will have more videos up soon, especially how-to videos. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys for watching again. Please subscribe, comment, and request. Bye!